Welcome all to a new series, Short Law. Here we will explore stories from all reaches of the world building universe, so sit back, relax, and get ready to world build. Today we take a look at the Honeybee Traveller by user TransPhantom. Not often in world building do we encounter stories of the arthropod variety, let alone bees. However, animals small and large have their place in every universe. They play a key role in the ecosystem and each species has a story to tell. We start with the world. Transphantom explains that as of yet the world is unnamed. Humans have long been extinct and a fantasy arthropod society has claimed their place. These animals have human-like intelligence. They are smart, free-thinking and complex in every way. Transphantom goes on to explain entomology, the study of insects, is a huge passion of theirs. They wanted to explore what would happen if society was developed by bugs. This is an excellent thought experiment. Often in world building we see the same patterns, but this is different. It's something unique. Back to the bees. Bees in this world are heavily honoured. They stick to their hive. Queens are seen as godlike, like demigods. You must address your leaders correctly or face the wrath of the bees. They don't wear regular clothes, yet they choose to don capes. Naturally this evolved from showing off your status, an illustrious cape represents wealth and power, whilst wearing a raggedy bit of fabric indicates peasantry. It also allows bees to recognise and identify each other. This grew from necessity, travelling frequently means bees are seeing many characters frequently and could often get their identities confused. The honeybee traveller is a unique kind, along with its cape it chooses to carry a pouch. The pouch more often than not contains three items. A canteen, a map, and a sting sheath. They won't want to damage their stingers. Sometimes they also carry little mementos from their queens as a mark of good luck. Bees are virtuous creatures. These tokens of affection help boost their confidence whilst travelling dangerous paths. Speaking of travelling, bees prefer to walk horizontally. Why? We don't know. We do know, however, it is considered polite to stand vertically when addressing other bugs or walking through a city. As of now, the rest of the lives of the travelling honeybees is a mystery. Who knows where they travel to, what their goals are, and who they intend to meet. We must wait for Transphantom to reveal more. Thank you to Transphantom for this excellent piece of world building. If you would like to see a particular case featured, don't be afraid to ask. Thank you.